Hello again. In this video, we're going to cover alignment and more specifically precise alignment. Now, straight away, people think drift alignment when we talk about precise alignment. And I've had quite a few requests to do a video on drift alignment. And to be honest, I've avoided it. And I've avoided it for a reason. And the thing is that, in my opinion, in this day and age, the where we've got laptops and such powerful computers and everything, it's just a so archaic and outdated method, you know, drift aligning. It's time consuming, it's fiddly, you know, you mess about. And it's all well and good if you've got a permanent setup, you know, sort of on a pier or in an obsey or something. But if you're portable, you know, and, and especially with the weather in the UK, it can be an absolute pain. And I wanted to find something that would do it sort of automated, if you like, or at least using a computer to do it and, and just to be able to do it as accurately. And I've actually think that I've found that solution now, and that is a piece of software called Align Master. Now, first of all, I'll just show you the website for Align Master so that you can go and download it, and then we're going to do a practical demonstration. Now, obviously, I haven't got a mount set up, sort of, you know, in my little office here. Um, but what we'll do is I'll simulate going through a precise alignment with it. Now, what I will say is that it's very, very accurate. I've had members of the shed, you know, the astronomy shed, my website, uh, to verify it, that have got peer mounted systems and have done a drift align. I've said, look, will you just try the align master? Let me know, sort of, you know, how it, how it fares. And the feedback that's come back is that it actually verifies precisely the the, the pre-drift alignment setup um, so you know I'm, I'm quite happy with it now the doubters will turn around and say yeah but all these software versions and, and, and the, the data that they've used for the software is actually from calculations that were done in the year 2000 because I don't know if you know or not um, you know probably you do the, the the actual polar position for the earth changes it moves and it's you know the last precise calculations were done in 2000 which means that a lot of the reticules in modern telescopes and everything the reticule itself the pattern for polaris is actually slightly out by just over 10 years uh, because they use this this year 2000 setting um, now the thing is that I contacted uh, Matthias Grizzoli who's the author of, of Align Master and put the same question to him and he said yeah it does use the, the 2000 sort of epoch data but he's actually corrected that in the software which you know all well and good and, and you know quite naturally it, it's perfectly possible because we're dealing with computers. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'll show you the website to download the software and then like I say we'll do a sort of a simulated alignment and I'll do it sort of in my graphics package but it is an absolute doddle to use this piece of software and once you've seen the demonstration I'm sure you'll agree it's also very very cheap there's a there's a 30 day free um, evaluation version that you can download from the website but the price in the UK is it comes to something like 14 pounds which it's nothing and to be honest I think it's too cheap and it does work brilliantly from my own experience I will say that I've had the best go-to's and the best tracking that I've ever had on the NEQ6 with this system something else just to point out is that it's for use with sort of ASCOM driven telescopes and everything and I will say that if you're at a point where you're looking for sort such precise alignments or drift aligning then nine times out of ten that's the method that you're going to be using anyway uh, personally I use EQ mod it's just a fantastic system and you know I, I love it to death and I know that it's sometimes it's very difficult to sort of be weaned off your, your sin scan handset and I honestly thought I'd have to have my handset uh, surgically removed from me and uh, to you know to go on to EQ mod thing is I've never looked back and you know I absolutely love EQ mod now so like I said we'll go on to the website first and then we'll give you a practical demonstration of a line master and I'm sure you'll agree it's, it's a doddle to use right so here we are at Matthias's website and there's the URL for you uh, once you get on the page there's just some various information and obviously we want the download link um, and just click on the link to download once you've downloaded you do need to register whether you're using the free version or whether you're using the full version um, you know just put in your details and you'll get an email with uh, your software key um, you know and like I say if you want to buy it then it's there at 14 euros which like I said I think is quite cheap and my recommendation is just to buy it because it is a brilliant piece of software so once we've downloaded and we install we'll go on to the next stage 
Okay, as I said, we're going to use a simulation to actually represent the telescope in, in the demonstration that I'm going to show you. Um, now, first of all, what we need to do is obviously to launch a line master, and you will be given this screen. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to put in your longitude and latitude, and I would suggest at this point that you try and be as accurate as possible. Um, you know, there's various tutorials showing you how to find your own longitude and latitude. You can even do it if you've got one of the smartphones now that have got GPS built in. You can just launch your GPS in, in your smartphone and, and just read it off there and put it in. Now, what I would advise is if you're using EQ Mod and say Stellarium or um, CDC to, to do your controlling, I would make sure that your longitude and latitude are the same in all three pieces of software. Once we've done that, it will pick up your system time, but be sure to add in whether you're forwards or back an hour, or just you know make up for your time zone. Um, now, if you want to, you can use a GPS device with a line master. So if you've got like a, a USB dongle or you know similar, you can actually pick up your GPS uh, coordinates from by just clicking on the on the read GPS device button. And that does work. I do have a GPS um, dongle, a USB dongle, and, it, and that does work fine working with that. Next, what we need to do is just to set up our telescope. Now, as I said, I'm using the uh, simulator, and I'm using the EQ Ascom simulator for this. So we just click on Setup, and you will get the Ascom um, requester you know, to set up your actual scope. Obviously, I'm using simulator. You'll choose your, your telescope just like you do when you're launching your, your control software on your laptop, really, um, and click OK. Once we've done that, simply click on Next. Now, it, for those people that aren't familiar with all the names of the stars, and, you know, a lot of us aren't really, um, what it does is it gives you lists of pairs of stars. So, if you know, if you're not too familiar with the names and everything, then just fire up your Stellarium and, and just, you know, look at your own sky and make sure that you've got, you know, one of these pairs of stars visible. So, let's just say, for example, that Doobie and uh, Alberio are, are perfectly visible for me. Then we just click on the pair of stars. Next, click on next, and it will say center reference star doobie precisely, then click next. Now what I prefer to do is I prefer to use a webcam. Now you can use a, 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 like a reticule eyepiece if you want. Uh, it's just my preferred method is to use a webcam. So at this point I would launch my camera software, which uh, my favorite is SharpCap, which is this one. So we've got SharpCap running now and we've got a line master now if you go up to the top in sharp cap you'll see that there's a button marked reticule and you can actually turn on and off a reticule there for centering so what we do next is where it says center reference star do be precise and then click next you can actually click the go to and it will take over and, and, and use eq mod to control your mount and it will actually slow over to the star now what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to put a, an extra layer on onto this image in my graphics package just to represent the star so we're back in one second okay i've now just launched a screen grab of my sharp cap screen so that i've got a star that i can move about and show you what happens on on the screen um, once we've selected go to for doobie and perhaps you know the star's not centered which you more than likely won't be uh, what we do next is using your EQ mod, you can slew using your east, west, south, north, or if you've got a joystick, you can plug your joystick in. And what you do is just simply slew that star into the center, slew over and get it into the center of the, of the reticule. Once you've done that in a line master, once you've centered, simply click next. It'll change now and it'll say center reference star Alberio, which is obviously the second star. So again, we can click on go to and your scope will slow over and go to your next star, which again may not quite be in the center. So once the scope's had a chance to slow, okay. Once it's there, do exactly the same thing again and center that star in your reticule, like so. Once we've centered Alberio, the next thing we do is click next again. 
once we've done that it will just say click next to start the alignment procedure and it actually reads out how, how far out you are you know your, your error in azimuth and altitude once we click next you get a box that says align az we click yes and you will actually see your star jump out like so now at this point what you do is use your azimuth bolts do not slew just use your azimuth bolts and bring that star back into the center again like so and do that as precisely as you possibly can and it can be a little bit fiddly you know just sort of going backwards and forwards with your bolts a little bit but it, it just pays off better if you take your time with this so once you've centered that star what we do next is click next again and it comes up with the box align alt so we click yes again the score will just slew a little bit and it will knock your star back out again this time use your altitude bolts and again just center that star like so using only your altitude bolt now then once we've done that click next again and we get a box that says re redo procedure to check and improve alignment now if you want to you can just leave it at that and it's, it's not bad i actually prefer to to select yes here and do it again and again you'll be given pairs of stars and all you do is the same procedure over again once you've done that that's it your mount is is absolutely precisely polar aligned uh, like i said it's just so simple it's just a matter of choosing stars um slewing clicking next uh, altering your altitude or your azimuth bolts and clicking next and it, it just does everything for you i just love the system it, it's you know it's just so user friendly and that's about it for the software and i hope that's helped you once again and uh, thanks for watching